The Darkest Minds stars Amanda Stenberg, Lydia Janet, Harris Dickinson, Gwendolyn Christie, Golden Brooks, and Mandy Moore, and is directed by Jennifer Yo Nelson. It's based on the young adult novel of the same name by Alexandra Bracken. And the plot of The Darkest Minds is an adolescent girl named Ruby Daly. She lives in a world like ours where a pandemic called Ian with two A's has killed 98% of children under the age of 18. The ones who have survived the virus mysteriously developed an amazing psychic superhuman powers and are declared a threat by the government and placed in the internment caps. After Ruby wakes on her 8th birthday, she accidentally erases her parents' memories of her and her mother calls the police and has her sent off to Thurman, which is a government rehabilitation cap for people like her. Six years later, she is one of the most powerful teenagers anyone has ever encountered, secretly classified as an orange. But after the truth of her strength comes out, she's barely able to escape the brutal Thurman with her life, held by an anti-government doctor there named Kate Connor. Then she finds her under... A group of other runaways with powers led by Liam, she joins up with them on the run from a vicious bounty hunter known as Lady Jane. Desperate to find only to save Haven, left for kids of all ages, just like her East River. Along the way, Ruby and Liam develop feelings for each other as Ruby tries to keep status of her being orange a secret. Pretty much. Now, the darkest minds. I was kind of curious about this. I liked the story. I liked the idea of these teenagers having supernatural powers and they are running from government. So it's kind of like X-Men, but with a little bit of Stranger Things and Arrival added into it. Because this is from the producers of both of those films. Well, Stranger Things is a Netflix show. Arrival is the movie with Denis Villeneuve that came out now two years ago, back in 2016. The Darkest Minds is an okay film, but very disappointing. Very disappointing. The stuff that this movie does have wrong is that there is more world build up that should have been fully developed and fully explained. Because this, I think this was set to be the first film in a series of films because The Darkest Minds books is also a book series. And I feel like. An hour 45 minutes is not really enough time to fully develop the world or any of the characters or the story for that matter. And it does become very predictable at times what is going to happen. And that's due to the script not being as comp as competently written as it should have been. And it does hurt the film a lot. And I mean a lot from rewatchability. There is some okay action scenes. I do like some of the action scenes. I do like the technical aspects as far as the cinematography and the way this movie is edited and shot and lit and color corrected. And I think that... All the special effects for a thirty million dollar budget, they're 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 done quite well. It's not awful. It's not too bad, but it again it just doesn't really flow as well as it's supposed to, and that is due to the fact that there's not enough world build up, not enough character development, and the story not being more developed because I do understand the story I just don't really under I just don't really like you know 
Yeah, that. But I will say that there are some decent amount of care that's put into this movie. I'm not going to go and say the film is awful like a lot of critics have said it is. The, there is some decent directing by Jennifer Yo Nelson. It is decent directing. This was her first live action project, and I will give her credit for trying. The music is not very bad at all. The music is very good, so is the effects. And the acting is solid. Especially from the the child members. Amanda, especially Amanda La Steinberg and the kids. Now, Mandy Moore is in here. She's fine. Gwendolyn Christie's also show up in here. She's okay. She's okay. Overall, The Darkest Minds is another one of the disappointing movies for me of 2018. Because I was curious about this. And the fact that the film doesn't have enough world build up or enough character development and the predictability really does hurt this film and that is a shame because this movie leaves a lot to be desired a lot to be desired so I will give The Darkest Minds a wait for Netflix I could I would easily say it's a red box rental but I'm gonna be generous because there were some things I did like in here but overall I feel like if the story was better if there was more world built up and more character development I felt I think this easily could have been a, be a much better film so let me know what you guys think about the Darkest Minds down below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I shall see you guys in the next one.